Welcome back students to the video series for business analytics for marketing. The topic for this video is segmentation and targeting. Although for this uh, part one of this video we will only target segmentation using clustering. Before we dive into the analysis, the top of mind question for segmentation and targeting is how can market segments be identified and distinguished? So how do we do it? We use cluster analysis for identifying different personas and then have targeted uh, strategic uh, marketing decisions, uh, discounts, sales, etc. towards them. As uh, mentioned earlier, we will be using SPSS for this analysis. So the data set that we will be considering for this exercise today is a customer data set from a mall. It basically has a few variables which will help us cluster the data based on different personas. As we can see, uh, it basically has these following variables or columns having customer ID, gender, age, annual income and spending score. Now before we can do cluster analysis, we need to ensure that we are operating in terms of the measure of central tendency for these variables. So we will first uh, change these three dependent variables of age, uh, annual income and spending score into the Z scores. So we'll select all of them. and. The variables are added. We will just look at the options. We want the mean. Uh, here it's all good. And we will click on OK. So we can see that uh, for all 200 items or 200 customers, uh, the minimum value for each of the variables has been given. It basically provides a uh, better picture about the three variables concerned. Now that we have the three columns in place for which we will be creating the cluster analysis, the steps go uh, like this. We will uh, go to analyze, classify, and we will be using k-means clustering technique for this lesson. We will use the three generated uh, z-score columns and add them under variables. For iterations, we will not change any values, we'll keep it to 10. For cluster membership, we would like to know which uh, customer has been positioned in which cluster. So we need one more column which will indicate which customer basically falls in which cluster or part of which persona. So we will check this cluster membership click on continue. Options, we will also uh, want the ANOVA table to understand the significance for the formation of these clusters and we click on continue. Now depending on various uh, reasons or strategies we can choose the number of clusters. In this case let's consider that we will work on three clusters. I will click on OK. And as we can see, uh, the clusters have been generated. Uh, we just have uh, the z-score for each uh, uh, value, age, annual income, and spending score here. Uh, what was the initial cluster? Uh, how did the change over the different iterations? But the most important thing here is uh, we go at the end and we see the number of items belonging to each cluster. As we had selected three clusters to be created, cluster 1 has 91 customers, cluster 2 has 41 customers, cluster 3 has 68 customers and uh, depending on the values of age, annual income and spending score we see a significance of less than 0 0.001 which means all three of them have contributed or has an impact in the creation of the clusters. Now if we wish to visualize this cluster as 
graph double click on final cluster centers select the values right click click on create graph and select bar we can see that there are three clusters and we can see the impact for each of them and how each of these variables have contributed in the creation of the cluster so i would only encourage you to look at these values and come up with your own personas and define different strategic mechanisms on how you can use uh, this customer data from a mall to have specific targeted discounts or offers or any decisions being made to get more customers and work on the specific segments for example here we have more importance on the age which means uh, cluster 1 has people who are above average age with a more or less average annual income but their spending score is less so in this case maybe you would uh, like to uh, look at uh, how they would respond the other interesting cluster would be uh, looking at this where the age is less and their annual income is more and at the same time the spending score is very higher than average so in this case you will be able to give uh, you know target this particular uh, persona and uh, share different items or different offers or different products that you are uh, willing to you know uh, have uh, a higher uh, sales because this this persona is uh, willing to uh, spend more money and have a higher spending score similarly you can check with uh, different number of clusters and how it differs and how you can use them for giving different targeted uh, discounts and uh, benefits so that's all from this video I hope you understood uh, the concept for cluster analysis and how segmentation can be done using SPSS. In case of queries, please feel free to reach out to me and I will be happy to uh, solve your uh, doubts. That's all from this. Thank you and see you for the next one.